my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing uh, a new Presidium Gem Tester. This is one that I got from Amazon. It is the Presidium PG2, Presidium Gem Tester 2. I'll have a link to that down in the description box below. The reason I bought a new gem tester is I had my old one for a number of years and it finally decided to go kaput on me. Another thing I've read is that the new Presidium gem tester is a lot easier to calibrate. So I'm going to make sure that the gem tester is calibrated and then we're going to test out. I brought some different items, some different stones that we can test with the gem tester and find out if it's working and if it's identifying stones correctly. If you're selling jewelry, having a way to test gold, silver, platinum, and gems can really help you with your listings because it'll give you that confidence to list items accurately and also give the buyer confidence to know that they're buying something that is authentic. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Margaret. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom. I flip things on eBay and other platforms to help support my family. One of the things I like to sell is jewelry. So if you enjoy videos about thrifting, garage selling, things that you can sell on eBay, then definitely this is the place for you. So I would love to invite you to subscribe and leave me a comment and say, hey, if you're new here and let's dive in. So here's the inside of the box. It comes in this pouch, like a carrying case or a safety case. And I saw something in there. There's the booklet, the box to the side. Comes with these, uh, booklets, I'm guessing for how to use them, thermal calibration, must read before using your Presidium gem tester. All right, let's open it up and then we'll calibrate it and see how it works. Let's calibrate this gem tester. To calibrate the Presidium gem tester, we've used the pin, the little pin, and we have pressed it into this hole once. And now we have the blue flashing light. All right, so once we have the blue blinking light, it says that we need to make sure that our fingers are touching the pen on the metal. We need to press down the needle indicator will calibrate to red cal strip automatically. The buzzer will beep twice upon completion of cal cal. All right, so we want to see it getting to over here where it says cal. We're going to press the probe in once. Now we've got the blue blinking light. We're going to decap our pen and we're going to press this down. All right, we've had the two beeps. So the next thing we should see is a blinking green light. And then there it is, we're gonna calibrate the glass. So now that it's green, we're gonna press this on here for the glass. All right. That calibration process is done. Now we have blinking blue light we're going to click calibrate again on the cal. All and then we'll have a blinking blue light and then we're going to click cal again for the fourth step. So repeat the calibration twice and this will end the calibration process. Our Presidium gem tester should be calibrated now and we can use it to test items like diamonds or other gemstones. I would suggest making sure that you hang on to this calibration guide and to the little calibration pen tool that you need a probe as they call it. So I'll make sure that these stay in my, my case tucked away nice and safe. And now for the fun part, I've got quite a few different stones for us to test. Some of them I know what they are, so I have them as really good test subjects so that we can for sure know what we were 
we're dealing with. So when we have other things that we're not so sure about, we can calibrate those as well. Or check out what the stones are, not calibrate them, but check the stones on those as well. Okay, let me get this necklace. This is a necklace that I bought for myself. It's an Art Deco style necklace with really pretty rubies in it. So I'm gonna set this over here for us to test. I'll take the the probe, as they call it. You know what, let me slide it. Let me do it the other way. There's a glare on my Presidium gem tester, so we're gonna come over here with this. So we'll come over here and I'll get the probe on top of the stone, press it down, and you see that it lands on ruby and sapphire right there. So that is accurate. So that one is a ruby in that necklace. I don't like how my hand is in that one, but if I put it over here, there's a glare. Let's try putting it in the middle. The next item that I wanted to test is this ring that I got at a garage sale. I've already taken this to get it tested professionally because I just loved it so much. So here we go. These are diamonds. Once again, I took it to a jeweler that we know that could help me. If you hear that buzzing sound, the, the probe hits the metal. When it hits that metal, it makes a, a buzzing sound like that. So these are diamonds. The next item I wanted to test, I got in, I can't remember, I think it was a blue box, but we weren't sure what it was. Maybe glass, maybe something else. So let's find out if it's, oh, I do wanna say that the Presidium Gem Tester doesn't distinguish the difference between natural and lab created because the lab created stones have the same chemical makeup as a natural stone, so the gem tester won't tell the difference. So when I create a listing, I always say, you know, I'll put a picture of me testing it, but I will say, you know, it tests positive for ruby, unsure if it's natural or lab created. So this is Let's see, is it falling in the glass range or is it falling in the tourmaline range? I think it's falling in the glass range. Uh, it's passing up the glass range. So it might be tourmaline in that range, garnet, tourmaline, iolite. Let's see if you see it falling somewhere else. It's something I'm gonna have to do a little more research on. I think it's passing up the glass though. All right, this is a ring that I got at uh, like a fair. There we go. It's supposed to be a big like amethyst, maybe. It's kind of getting there. Tanzanite, aquamarine, it's kind of falling in there. Okay. This ring is, uh, it's got a diamond, and then these little blue stones are sapphires. So let's test out this one. Let me get my fingers out of the way. So that middle stone is a diamond, and then let me grab onto one of these little blue ones. Uh-oh, I'm hitting the, the metal. Let me try again. It's a little stone, so it's hard to get right on it. So that one does fall in that ruby sapphire range. Okay, next up, this was what I'm guessing is a costume jewelry ring, but let's find out. Yep, glass. This is another one, it's silver, and there are some little stones in it, which I don't think are diamonds, but let's see what pops up. Nope, glass. This is a ring that I got, it was either a Goodwill blue box or a thread up jewelry box. 
this is that really pretty ruby that I need to get looked at. We've tested this one before. And it does fly way over there to ruby and sapphire. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous ring. Next, uh, this is supposed to be a mystic topaz, I believe. So let's see. I guess the topaz must fall in that range. No, because the topaz has its own bit over there. All right. Good to know. So if I listed it, here's a really pretty, like, tennis-style bracelet, which I believe are just Swarovski crystals, but let's take a peek. My fingers are in the way again. All right. I need to find out where um, crystals would fall. Like it's kind of in that range past the glass, but I need to do a little research on that if it's like a Swarovski crystal. These two brace uh, necklaces, I should say, are tangled up together, but we can still test them. This little gold one, I believe, has sapphires in it, but let's take a look and see what the gem tester says. Little. Hold on. <laughs> what if I set it down? I'm gonna try to set it down so it can hold still. So you see it falling. It's falling in the topaz, but also in the ruby sapphire. Yeah, ruby sapphire range. There is a little what I think is a diamond in the center. Yes. That's on, on the little rubies. And then this is a necklace which I think also has a little sapphire. I think this is also a Swarovski piece. Right, sapphire right there on that piece. Next up, I I think these are I think these are moonstones. I'm not exactly sure. It's really pretty earrings that I've got set in sterling silver. I don't know what these would test out as honestly because uh, they're not like precious gemstones. Then we've got a bracelet, which I believe has little sapphires in it. Let's see if they're real or if they're just glass. Little sapphire bracelet, really pretty. I got these, this is a necklace with a cameo and I have a, a earrings to match. And I believe these are garnets around it. Does garnet have a spot here? Yes, it does. So there you see garnet, tourmaline. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Iolite? So there, oh, I hit the metal. Right there. It does fall right there with the garnets. This is falling, I thought this might be a tourmaline. Right. It's falling right there with tourmaline, so I believe that's probably what that is, this little pink stone. And then, we've got this bracelet that's got all these multicolored stones in it. There's lots of different colors. I think probably um, garnet and amethyst and citrine and who knows what else. So I thought we could test some of those. So this is a red stone, which I believe is gonna test as a garnet. And it's going a little past garnet. This is a little purple stone, which I think is going to test as an amethyst. And it's going over to, yeah, there we go. Just a little past the amethyst. I might need to recalibrate. This is a little green stone. I think it's green. It's kind of green. Greenish, brownish. Ah, well, it's still you. This one, where is this one landing? Kind of like jadeite and spinel, but also, oh, quartz is on there. Okay, quartz, citrine, amethyst. Good question on that one. There's another one that's kind of like a yellowy green. I feel like, how oh, is it trying to go? It looks like it's trying to go to topaz. I might need to recalibrate again, because it looks like, Say on amethyst, 
like I know I'm pretty pretty sure those are amethyst it's kind of scooting a little past that line so I might need a little recalibration and this one looks like another garnet and see how it's scooting a little past the garnet I might need to recalibrate it again just to make sure that things are falling where they should all right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in a Presidium gem tester, uh, I have a link for the one I got down below on Amazon. They are pricey, but I, it's a cost of doing business if you're selling jewelry and you wanna make sure that you're accurately listing items so that you've got happy buyers when they get them at home. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.